it's probably not Friday, is it? Did you know fish have fin? That's been your fish fact for this fish fact Friday. Fish have fin. For, for swimming, probably, or something. Changing direction? I don't know, look it up. That's been your fish fact Friday fish fact. Freaking fr fuck. Hello, Pokemon fans and fans of this, if, if you're out there. Today, we have an amazing product. Uh, I'm really excited to open this. This may end up being a much shorter episode than usual. This doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it, but the quality of the things that are inside, I'm hoping will satisfy you. Oh, we will take a look inside in just a second. I would just like to let you know that this box, known as the Pokemon Stamp Box, is a collaboration between the Pokemon Company and the Japan Post Service. So one of the sheets of stamps they put out had a production run of 1 million sheets. And then the second one that they put out had a production run of 2.5 million sheets. Kind of want to get both of those, I don't have them yet. But inside this box, we have what I assume is the rarest. I don't know the actual number for this, but... These are real stamps. These are some of the coolest ones. There's basically no reason for me to take this out other than the fact I want to show you a closer, cleaner look. Uh, but you can see up here, if I tilt this like that, I can actually take that off and use it. That is a legal stamp. How cool is that with the holographic and everything? The three boys. I pray to God that nobody's actually bought this box and then used these things as real stamps to send mail. Especially with the resale price of this box. Now we do have a couple of other things in here. The most excited things that I'm waiting to show you, of course, are the promo cards. There is two promo cards. Okay, let's take a look. Let's, let's do it. There it is. How amazing is this? This is incredible. So I think the other promo is behind this one. We will we'll reveal that in just a second. Yes, there is two cards in here. Put that little sucker down here. Okay, just take it in. Just take it in. Look at this card. It has no holographic, which I think is one of the things I actually really like about it. Like this looks like a different playing card entirely. We have this beautiful woman with uh, Pikachu hitching a ride on her back. Now this card is actually based off a famous Japanese painting from the 17th century called Beauty Looking Back, which is relevant because the image of that painting was then used on Japanese stamps in 1948. And that's just another reason why I love Pokemon in Japan and the stuff that they do with the TCG. This is incredible. Let us seal this little sucker away and we have another card to take a look at. But first, what else is inside this box? What do you get? We have this interesting looking thing. Um, so this is, this is like a mini version of this, which I don't think I did a video on because uh, I just don't, I, Never got around to it, or I didn't think it looked interesting enough. I think there was another iteration of this, which I did do a video on, but this is called the Family Pokemon Card Game Training Learning Box or, so or something. It's basically for families to sit down and learn the game, I think. Anyway, now we have the pocket-sized version, so let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's see what we get. Oh, we, s we still get the coin. These are like, uh, the battle mats. You got your damage counters and status things. You got your little, uh, cracked glass Pikachu coin. And we have two of these, which I guess is like two training decks. So you can play against each other and learn. Let's take a look. I don't know why, of all things, they would, uh, make a, a small bite-sized version to, to put this inside the, uh, the stamp box. But here we are. Um, it's not, it, it doesn't, it's not holographic either. There we go. Okay, well, you get that. You get this guy. And then I think those are probably the two V's. The rest is going to be just a bunch of crap. I don't think any of this is pr is probably not going to be exclusive art. Some of this stuff looks like things I don't think I've seen. So maybe, maybe you get a couple of, couple of little things in here. But for the most part, they'd probably reuse this artwork. That's something I don't think I've seen. This little bug catcher. And then we've just got a bunch of energies. Another fire noodle. We've got the angry monkey. Grass and fire, baby. Grass and fire. Then we have the opposition. The yellow Pikachu box. Ah, yes. The fabled yellow Pikachu box. I do actually like this kind of mustard yellow color. All right. 
Let's see what we get. Of course, Pikachu. I haven't seen that artwork anywhere. Maybe, yeah, maybe it is exclusive for this. I don't know. Or maybe they later reprint it. I don't know. I'd like to see that with a bit of holographic on it. Then we've got a Greninja. Man, I, I like that one way better. Those two. This, this is the deck. Then, um, Trutal. Any other Pokemon here? We've got this fella. The Barrascooter line. Something like that. Shinx. Luxio. Luxray. We've got uh, Zorora. This is actually all artwork I haven't seen before. <laughs> Snorlax! Some potions, the general stuff that you need. We've got a Shauna card with different artwork again. Whatever that is, different artwork again. That is a reprint. We've definitely seen that Magnolia and maybe that Rocket. Definitely that Hop. And then we've got the Blues, we've got the Yellows. So the two things you really want from this are the stamps and the two promo cards, of course. But there's not a whole lot in here. This is like uh, the last thing. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. Are these postcards? Okay, yes! Finally, a product for me! Okay, we'll save those for the end. What is the final promo? It is... Who would have thought? Cramorant. The beautiful blue bird going for a dive here. He doesn't get a, a whole lot of love. I think I'm constantly shitting on him, calling him the deep-throating bird. Uh, he is based on a bird with a very similar name. So as you'd expect, just like the Pikachu, this too is based off uh, a famous Japanese painting called Wild Geese Flying Under the Full Moon uh, from the 19th century. And you can see that on screen right there. You can see the, the similarities. What an amazing piece. I don't think we've seen a promo as special as these two in quite some time. And I hope the Pokemon Company continues to make stuff like this. And if we look back on the stamp sheet, I didn't want to bring close attention to them both before we looked at the cards. But uh, on either side here, we do have stamps of these two fellas as well. Now, before we get into the postcards, the Celebrations ETB that I have half assembled on the side here that I'm trying to get through. I'm not going to do the Celebrations packs, but I am going to do these two Darkness Ablaze packs. Let's see if we can get any luck with these. And then, of course, after the postcard, we do have the mandatory two Japanese packs that we do every time as well. Larry Dose! We've got a Doug Trio, Billowing Smoke, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Gathita, Nicket. Uh, whoops, skipped one there. Aaron, Reverse. And for this one, ooh, a little something. An Eternatus VMAX. Not bad for one pack so far. Let's see what this Charizard do. Let's take a closer look. Let's inspect this fellow. Let's see. Take a look! Familiar Bell! That looks familiar. Rose Tower. Feebas. Melon Monkey. Wimpod. Agron. Damn, we got the little, the little one. Now we got the big one. And... Flag on, nothing special. But that's okay, and now it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! It's the segment where we look at Pokemon postcards. Now, you guys know where these ones are from. Uh, they have uh, some sort of unification. They all look uh, very similar on the back. We have three here, and they are in the shape of the Pokemon. We've got a Pikachu-shaped postcard. We have an Eevee-shaped postcard, and everybody's favorite, We've got a Charizard-shaped postcard. Will these fit in my postcard book? I don't think so. No, I don't. That's... It's too tall. Eevee sideways, maybe? Yeah, okay. All right, that actually, that's actually a snug fit. I might keep that in there. Pikachu, too big. Now, before I bid you a fair do, we have um, these two. The packs that I open every episode until I get an alt art. Otherwise, I will not stop. Let's see what luck we have for this one. A holographic. Is the Sniper Lizard doing a backflip? Pretty clean looking hollow. And one of my favorite sets, Eevee Heroes. What do we get from this? Let's take a look. One to the front, flip it around. We've got the Scuba Diver Bottle. We have Mudkip into Melodic. Nothing too special. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to support me buying children's playing cards, buy the merch. Check out the merch. Link at the top of the description below. Alternatively, you can manually navigate to that by typing in max.shirts with a Z dot cool. Anything else you buy from that website that is not my merch on checkout, use code MOFO to save 10%. Uh, otherwise, uh, why did you click on something else? Check some, look at this.